I keep hearing from people, man, you gotta love to code, man, to be able to become a developer. But I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna be a surprise. I don't love coding. Now, you're probably watching this and you're like, wait, what? So you are a developer and you only do it for what? For a financial gain? You do it just for yourself? You do it just for making money just to be successful? Well, maybe or maybe not or maybe this video is not what the title says because in reality I do love coding but I don't love coding now what the hell do I mean by that I mean you don't love to code Joe but you've been saying that you love being a developer and yeah that's right I love being a developer but I don't love coding I don't love programming. I'm not one of these guys that they come here and they're like so super passionate about one programming language or one way of doing things or, you know, just showing up and be like, man, you just got to love to code. I'm not one of those guys. I'm more of a Mark Zuckerberg, I'm more of a Bill Gates, I'm more of a, you know, DHH, I'm more of a Elon Musk. We do this because we have to. We use programming, we use engineering, we use the tools that we know to create products and to actually go out of our way and create new companies and new ideas and actually try to change the world. My goal is not to go work at a major company. My goal is not to just be another coding monkey, another programming monkey. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, oh my God, this guy is so, so egomaniac and this, this and that. No, 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 no. I want you to pay attention to this and why I'm talking about this. And it's because there's a lot of people that just focus on the code and they say, I do it for the love. I just, you know, I don't care what salary it is. You know, please don't talk about the salary. Please don't talk about how much money you make. Please don't talk about uh, what you do. Like, don't talk about that. Just do it for the love, right? We're not in the 70s. You know, we're not hippies. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're not in the 60s or 50s. Like, we're not hippies out here. You know, you don't survive with love. You don't pay bills with love. At some point, you want to be actually the boss. You want to come up with new ideas. I know so many talented programmers and, and, and developers out there, engineers, who basically what they do is they build other people's dreams. And I'm not saying that's wrong, but at the same time, don't look down on the guy that says, I don't love coding. Programming is a tool that I use to build the projects and the products that I want to build, right? The ideas that I have in my mind. And there's a lot of guys out there that are like me, but there's way more people that love coding. They love programming, right? And the moment you say something here on YouTube or somewhere online and be like, hey man, you know, I look at this as a career. I see this as a way for me to go up the ladder in this world. I see this thing as a way to actually do something good for my family, do something good for my future generations, you know? Because this, this is another thing too that maybe I'll do a video in the future. There's a lot of trust fund babies out here in the tech industry. There's a lot of kids who, you know, maybe the parents is like, you know, doctors and the previous engineers and this and that. Like, they don't know what the struggles is. They don't know what it is to say, hey, man, I got to pay rent at the end of the month. There's a lot of you guys that are watching this that are probably disliking this video right now. Y'all know damn well, if right now you fail, you could say, papi, mommy, can you send me money for the rent? There's a lot of you guys that are out there that's like that. And then the moment you see a developer or somebody talk about money or talk about how can we uh, monetize this game, how can we make passive income, how can we actually go out of our way and be successful. We don't want to be the developer working for Google. We don't want to be the developer working at Facebook. I want to build Facebook. I want to build Google. That's what I do. I build platforms. 
I build businesses and you guys look at us like we're crazy you know I saw this thing the other day there was like a uh, like a, a medium blog post where a guy who had the entrepreneur bug inside of him was talking about hey man every time I talk to my co-workers about maybe starting up a new startup or building our own companies they laugh at me right and they think I'm crazy and that's because they are so used to just staying in one company staying there forever and just you know giving their life to somebody else you know a lot of these companies if you make them five ten million dollars they don't go out of their way and give you a nice big check and be like damn little Joe came in and he changed our company's culture and you know what he made us 50 100 million dollars with the features that he created Nah, those companies don't come in and give you that money they're not gonna do that so why are you so focused on just being a worker now is there's nothing wrong with working right there's nothing wrong with working but at a certain point you've been in the industry for 10 20 years why the hell you haven't built your own company why the hell you haven't taken your own route the company that you're in is not giving you any bonuses the company you're in they're not giving you anything besides the little base salary that you've been making for the past five years they're not gonna give you anything else and you could say I do it for the love love doesn't leave generational wealth love doesn't leave anything and all our people are gonna be like damn man we do it for the love Joe I do it for the love okay you do it for the love but remember love doesn't pay the bills that moment when that company decides to say hey man we're out of here we're selling everything and they merge your company with another company and then they say your team is gone and then from there you're you're basically <laughs> without a job out here and then you thought that you was you're gonna get all this money so you got yourself into a crazy mortgage for the next 30 years and you got that brand new oh you know Mercedes that you got and you thought everything was good and you sending your kids to private school when that happens to you and they disappear remember you did it for the love